KBOI 2 News, first at 4. Hit the gas! Hit the gas! Incredible video from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. These people narrowly escaping a wildfire that destroyed their neighborhood. Still, three people have been killed as this fire keeps on burning. So what's going on with our weather? That we've got a major fire in December. Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham will have more on that in a moment. But first, Danny Roberti explains how the fire spread so quickly. We've all been overwhelmed at the scene of destruction in the county and primarily in the city of Gatlinburg. Cell phone video shows flames surrounding a driver evacuating the area of Gatlinburg, Tennessee late Monday night. Fire threatened to block off the only road to safety. Go, 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 go. At one point, sparks flew over the windshield. Almost every cabin in Chalet Village is burning to the freaking ground. The driver says he was able to escape. It is unclear if everyone was as lucky. Yeah. Flames closed in on the Park Vista Hotel in downtown Gatlinburg. People trapped inside recorded video on their cell phones as the fire burned. The lights flickered on and off in the smoke-filled lobby where guests were forced to wear masks. Logan Baker was inside. So they're, they're keeping us in here for now, but the smoke is like at one point, at least 30 structures in Gatlinburg were burning. We're just now beginning to assess the loss of structures and the general conditions throughout the area. Oh my God, it's so hot. High winds caused the Chimney 2 fire, which began in the Smoky Mountains last week, to descend on surrounding towns. Drivers captured the fires cascading down the mountain as they were forced to evacuate. Earlier in the day, smoke blanketed Gatlinburg in an ominous cloud. This Red Cross shelter is one of many locations where residents stayed the night fleeing the fast moving wildfires here in Gatlinburg. 600 residents are registered here and many of them don't know what they're going to go home to. Dandy Ruberti for CBS News, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Those flames are impressive and causing so many different problems. In fact, some Idaho firefighters have traveled to that area to help out. Now, 